Alrighty, we have some really exciting news to share with you guys. Construction has finally started at Canada's Wonderland. And when I say construction has finally started, I mean actual land clearing. Um, so you guys will see that very shortly. As you can tell, Winterfest setup is almost done. In today's video, you will see Holly Jolly Trolley doing rehearsals, which I was really excited about. But don't worry, this isn't a Winterfest update. There'll be some little bit of updates on Winterfest, but it's going to mostly be on the construction. Nothing going on in terms of Kingswood. We got to talk to the park today about it. Um, and there wasn't too much comments about what's going to happen with Kingswood in the future. Um, they are removing the tent. That is confirmed now so I can confirm that you will see the tent being removed um, in Kingswood and then they don't really have any plans with what's coming it is not being removed for any future plans it is just being removed at this current moment there will not be any land clearing anytime soon on that plot of land either the tent is just coming down and after that that's pretty much all they're going to do for now but if you look on over behind uh, Yukon's first Immelman, first inversion near the mountain, you will see land clearing taking place. Um, they have a couple of uh, excavators over there doing some excavating things. Mountainside Bakery is removed. Um, it did get scrapped, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, the land clearing is taking place. Uh, the park did confirm, Grace confirmed with us today, that they will be releasing renderings uh, for the building after Winterfest. They're going to wait till after Winterfest. It is absolutely stunning based off of what we're hearing and very large. And um, it's truly exciting. It is also confirmed. Um, a couple, uh, you know what? I'll say that for a separate video. We have an interview with the park that will save uh, the tidbits for you guys in a separate video. But a lot of really exciting things are going to be happening at Canada's Wonderland over the next couple years. So truly exciting. It was super awesome to be at Wonderland today getting... Um, uh, some information on Winterfest for you guys and some of those rumors and speculation answers answered as well. So definitely got as much as we could out of the park today. And it was honestly really surprising at some of the questions that they answered. Um, and, you know, obviously marketing and not answering some others, but very telling. But nonetheless, um, with construction starting on the restaurant, super excited. It's guaranteed going to be 2022. The park confirmed that as well. Um, the 100 foot light tunnel is, uh, still being constructed over on Orbiter's new path, the pathway that replaced Orbiter. And then outside of that, nothing much exciting to report on. Obviously there's no construction elsewhere in the park. They're still prepping for Winterfest. It has been a huge project to get Winterfest ready, um, in the 12 days that they are allotted. But nonetheless, we have some exciting news about a future extension to the season at Canada's Wonderland. But again, that'll be in a separate video. I'm not going to touch on that in this video. We got a lot of details, again, that we're super excited about. As you can tell, I'm in a really good mood. But that's mostly because of Winterfest. Honestly, I'm so excited. Winterfest starts this Saturday. You can catch Craig and I there, both of us. Okay, that is rare. To get both of us at Canada's Wonderland, it is rare. So if you're a huge fan of the channel or just like super awesome and supportive of everything we do, Craig and I will be at Wonderland this Saturday and this Sunday, um, both days. So feel free to come up and say, hey, um, unless we're filming. Again, uh, if you see us filming the shows, we're just going to be filming a lot of the entertainment on day one and then some vlogs. But feel free to come up and say hey to us as long as we're not um, at a show filming, just so it doesn't get in the way of filming the show. But again, super excited. So excited to get back in that park. I miss Winterfest so much. It is such a great event. You have to go. Um, I guess I should put this in this video. The vaccine requirement, unfortunately, due to York region um, laws and requirements, a negative COVID test will not get you into the park. They, you do not need photo ID to get into the park matched with your thing. You just need a government ID with your name on it. Um, so again, a health card will work without a photo. And um, outside of that, again, that is, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I, I think that's it. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, uh, at front gate, they were, uh, ch uh, what do you call it? Sawing off the posts for the queue lines. So those are now gone at front gate on the left side so far. They got rid of all the queue posts. Um, so that was interesting. Going to be keeping an eye on that. They sawed them off, then sawed them down so you can't trip over them as a tripping hazard. Um, but yeah, super exciting stuff happening at Canada's Wonderland. Uh, we are very confident in a very bright future at Canada's Wonderland over the next five years a lot of exciting things are going to happen with season extensions longer operating seasons new rides new attractions new experiences and atmospheres and stuff like that so 
Couldn't be more excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And uh, today was just honestly so amazing. Thank you to mm Sandwich on Instagram um, for helping out with filming today. Um, a huge thank you to Canada's Wonderland and Grace for having us out uh, to talk about Winterfest and all future things. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you for everything you do in terms of helping me. And um, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on the future of Canada's Wonderland. And trust me, we will be the first ones to know. Have a good one. Bye.